Hello viewers, this is your Michael from Screwy Reviews doing my 495 podcast. This is my 495 podcast. Once again, this is my 495 podcast. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly in case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best, <laughs> my best not to breach your heart during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cost any audio feedback. <laughs> Not to cost any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Now, if you're over 18, that means you're going to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, let's get to this. Yeah. So let's get to this. Let's get to the topic of this podcast. So basically, I you know basically I have you know I recently you know I I love it how Boom Studios has been doing you know has been you know has you know Boom Studios I love the work that Boom Studios done with the Power Rangers it, 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 it with the it, with the new line of Power Ranger comics. So basically, Boom Studios has gave us some some wicked content with these you know, with the but their what their power is a comic book line. So basically so basically it get, so basically I cannot but I I had to it seems like it seems like I had this I nobody seems to have had this idea yet. So basically as you guys know, Hadwell owns the power just but also a lot of people don't know a lot of people don't really know this that, you know, Hasbro doesn't own Hasbro does own the power just also and they also own all, all the other Shadon brand shows as well. So basically, a lot of people don't know this. So Hasbro, not only does Hasbro own the Power Rangers, a lot of people don't know this. But you know, this is true. You can look us up. They own the Beatleboards, Mystic Knights, the BR Troopers, even even Mass Fighter. Don't oh. oh. Well, all the old Saddam shows, all the lot, uh, all the lot, uh, all the original Saddam shows, and the half of does own. So basically, so basically, so basically, what if, so basically, this idea, this idea hit me. So basically, since the Power Rangers, since the Power, since Boom Studios, since the Power Rangers, you know, ever since. Ever since Boom Studios de- de- done a g- very good fucking job with the with the with the new Power Ranger comic book line, what if what if what if the beautiful what if Boom Studio does uh, does a new com- a new comic book line with the Beetle Boys? Yes, nobody's putting this idea yet. Nobody's, you know, I, I, I'm surprised myself it took me that long. That's no hassle. No hassle owns the beatboards, you know. The premise of the, the premise of the beatboards was to, you know, kids like, the yeah, kids, the uh, Kids make you know we get a ghost and you know and make them superheroes and select their favorite comic book characters. So basically, let's let's get the Peter Bugs. Let's let them. I think that Hasbro should make a uh, should, uh, should you know make a deal with Boom Studios to do to do a new Peter Bugs comic book line. So basically, you know they can start off with the the big bad Peter Bugs comic line first, then they can build up to Peter Bugs Italics, You know. And give us a uh, you know, and give us our own version because honestly, honestly, the reason, uh, the reason so far Hasbro has not uh, has not planned anything. Hasbro's only been focused on Power of Japan, so basically it has not been focused on the other Shadon shows such as the Troopers and uh, and others. So basically, what if you know, Hasbro Hasbro knocked this out of the park? You know, make a deal with Boom Studios to do new beatable cartoons because honestly, they did a good fucking job. So basically, you know, I know that the deal with Boom Studios is it's co- it's gonna be up soon. So basically, you know, I don't know. I think that Hasbro should you know we up their deal to let Boom Studios to make more comic books for the Power Rangers. But you know, this for but not only that, you know, they can. Make new, they can make new comic books for for, for the Beatles. For not only for the Beatles, not only for the Beatles, not only for the Beatles, for the Mystic Knights, for the Beatles Troopers, even Mass Fighter. If you know, if you know, if Tori will allow that, because Tori, 
But still, you know, Tony had to be involved in that because, you know, they had to get that piece. So basically, blah, 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 you know, Tori, uh, Tori needs to get that piece because most of, most of these other shows are Tori's, uh, Tori's costumes. So basically, I believe that, Tori, I believe that, uh, I believe that Tori did produce the Japanese version of, uh, Jeep Fighter and Jeep, and the other Jeep, uh, I believe that Tori did produce the Jeep Fighter series. So basically, and you know, uh, I mean, and, and, uh, and also and uh, and also the Metal Hero series as well, but you know and that's a work out the deal. So basically, like you know, this will be a fucking good job. So basically, if if the beam is to, if you know if you know if you know if Hasbro can make a deal with Boom Studios to make new be the book comic books, that means that that means here that means we can you know, we can get new be the book products as well. So basically, like you know, new be the book toys. So basically. I'm just going to say, so basically, they can, you know, Hasbro can finally, you know, do something with the beta port with franchises, like say, hey, hey, maybe we can make a beta ball movie, or, or do a, a, do a beta ball animated series, or shit, some shit like that, so basically, so basically, this will be a good move for, for Hasbro to do, so for, I, I, I'm just saying, Hasbro has, has this, has this, has this, Gold mine. They had this gold mine. Of, they had this. Uh, they had this gold mine opportunity that I had not thought about yet. What to, to do with the big board? Cause you know to make the to make a new comic book to make to make a deal with Boom Studios to do new comic book series with the for the Beat Board. So basically this will so basically a lot of people have been wondering like you know wondering you know when the Beat Boards are going to come out with a new comic book because you know it's been a while since we had a it's been a long time since we had a Beat a new a new Beat Boards comic book. So basically this Hasbro, people at Hasbro, who Hasbro, if you are watching this video, you need to do, you, you need to, you need to, you need to, uh, you need to tell somebody. Who, I don't, so basically, I implore you, who, uh, if, if you, if you work for, if, if you, if, if any of you guys work for Hasbro, you know, so basically tell your superior, whatever, that, you know, this is a right fucking move to basically get Boom Studios to do a new B-Board comic books, and therefore, if that comic, that comic book, that comic, this new comic book series for the Beat Boards will, will mostly blow up with, the, with Boom Studios doing it, and therefore lead to a new, can lead to new Beat Board toys, and also new, even a Beat Board movie. So basically, Hasbro, Hasbro, you need to get off your, you need to make a fucking deal with, uh, with Boom Studios right now. So basically, if you work for Hasbro, you know, tell, or tell, you know, if you, if any of you beers work for Hasbro, uh, I don't care if you're a fucking packer, you know, or whatever, you know, you should tell, you should tell your superiors that, you know, they have a, a they have a, op they have a, you know, they have, they have a opportunity. A, a real opportunity to regroup the beatable brand and and capitalize on the beatable franchises uh, and capitalize on the beatable franchises. Not only the beatable franchises should be capitalized, capitalized with their new comic book line. Also, the BR Troopers can, they can you know, they can, you know, booster this can make you make new can make the uh, a, a BR Trooper comic book line. They can make a new, uh, they can make a Mr. Knight comic book line. They can make a mass fighter line, but you know, you know, but it's really up to it's really up to Hasbro. So basically, let's start us, let's start us like you know, let's start us with the let's start us with the beach board coming line first and see how that does. If that does very well, you know, Hasbro will start making new beach board toys. If that blows up, you know, maybe Hasbro will might talk to Paramount to do a beach board movie. Then if that shit pops off, then then we can get the. Then we can see. 
Then we can get the B.I. Trooper comic book line movie, and Cetra, and Max Carter movie line, uh, comic book line, and, and movie, and movie, and movie, etc. So basically, Hasbro, Hasbro, I'm giving you a, I'm, I'm giving you a good idea. You need to do this. Cause you need to do this for the beatable. I know you like you got to focus on politics like that, but you know, you know, this idea can make you more money to put in your fucking pockets. So basically, like you know, like you know, if you guys are, uh, like you know, if you guys do. If you guys fought, you guys should, you guys didn't realize this idea. It took me a minute to win this idea that, you know, you guys own the fucking leaderboards. So basically, you know, the whole premise of the leaderboard that the kids had, 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 wish that they were, were, were just like their favorite hero for their favorite comic book series. So basically, this idea can fucking work. So basically, that's all I got to say. So basically, you know, so what you guys think about this idea? What do you guys think about this idea? Please let me know with the, with, uh, below the co the comments below this po below this video. So anyway, like always, this is here, Michael from School Reviews. Shout out one. So what happened?